autism is not a behavioral disorder. It's characterized by perceptual and thinking differences. This from Tracy Hutchinson Wallace, whose son was diagnosed just after his fourth birthday. She says he was tested when administrators at the school he attended noted he had difficulty socializing with his peers. When they said that, I said, okay, let's, let's get him tested. Can't hurt, don't know what's happening. And when he came back positive, I was like, oh, okay. I'm really glad that they caught it early because we would have gone along probably not realizing anything until he started to struggle in primary school. Initially, the plan was to have him go through the public school system. But Tracy says she and her husband realized almost immediately that probably wasn't going to happen. My husband realized that he's drifting, he's zoning out, he's not interested in school. This from a child who literally falls asleep every night reading a book and was so thrilled and excited about going to school. At the end of the first term, the school said, well, he's going to have to repeat first year. I'm like, no, you repeat in front one. Who repeats in front one? Are you going to change the way you're doing stuff if he repeats? Well, no, this is the way we do things. This, she says, was the breaking point. Every parent thinks their child is the most wondrous, marvelous being on the planet when the rest of the planet says your child is other it does affect you as a person because you want the rest of the world to see your child for the marvelous being that they are tracy says her son was then enrolled at a school which caters to the specific needs of children who need extra support he continues to thrive in that environment but as sea prep continues Tracy says she can't help but worry about what's going to happen at the secondary level. All other parents worry about school books and uniforms at most, maybe transportation as well. But kids who need special supports and accommodations, their parents have so many more expenses that need to be dealt with and that cuts severely into the family's ability to have a decent quality of life. She says many people fail to realize that parents are forced to send their children to private institutions simply because provisions aren't made for them at public schools. Don't get tired with the word private. It's private because public doesn't give it at all. We're paying taxes like everyone else. The Ministry of Education prides itself on saying, you know, education for all, but they are simply not providing education for all, and they have literally abdicated their responsibility to children with special needs and special developmental challenges. Tracy suggests that the Ministry of Education identify at least six schools in each district where they station occupational therapists, speech therapists, psychologists, and psychiatrists who can provide the necessary support to these students. Dion Batiste, TTT News.